Next part of the show, though, right, wrestling speculation. Cody Rhodes, WWE, right? Cody Rhodes is speculated to, or not speculated, Cody Rhodes is set, sorry, to take on Logan Paul in a title for title match um, for both the United States Championships and the WWE Championship, or the undisputed WWE Championship um, at Crown Jewel. And I got to say, that's going to be great. (laughs) Uh, I don't know how people feel about Logan Paul. Well, let me change that statement. I don't know how people feel about Logan Paul as a wrestler versus him as a person. I don't know the guy personally. He's obviously very successful. He's entered his way into WWE. He skipped the line, so to speak, right, of the of, of other pro wrestlers there. But you cannot say it's not well-deserved. Um, he's done incredible work on WWE television. I mean incredible work. Fantastic, incredible work. Um, this guy has really learned the business quick. He's learned, he plays into his natural strength of being a dick and a heel, um, and he does that so well. And I think that him and Cody Rhodes are going to cook. They're going to make such an incredible match. I don't think that anyone's going to be a set winner. Logan Paul's definitely not winning that match. Um, Cody Rhodes is not winning the United States Championship with the WWE title. I think that'd be a mistake. Um, do I think that it would, it would really solidify Cody as the top guy? Yes, but I don't think you need that right now. Cody's already solidified as the top guy. He doesn't need a a higher solidification for that. Um, I think one of two people needs to take that belt off Logan Paul. You either do LA Knight like people have been speculating for a while, or what I really think needs to happen is Jey Uso needs to be the guy to take that belt off Logan Paul. I personally think that back at Backlash, Jey Uso should have dethroned Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight title. Why? We've given him too many chances now for a singles title, and he's... He hasn't won a single one of them. And now he was beaten by Priest clean in the middle of the ring. Now, Jey Uso is so over now to the point where he can kind of take that and it doesn't really even affect him. And he just beat Ilya Dragunov, the previous Raw, uh, to advance in the King of the Ring. And maybe he wins the King of the Ring against Gunther. I think personally he should um, because I think we need to do something with Jey Uso. Use his name as main event. I think he should have won the world title and then McIntyre, when he's healed uh, at Scotland, Clash of the Castle, could have been the guy to beat him for it. But um, I digress. Obviously, that is not the case. They're going to go for Drew McIntyre versus Damian Priest at some point now is what they're building to. I like that as well. But I think if we're going to do something with Jey Uso then, he needs to be the guy to dethrone Logan Paul to solidify him in his first singles titles reign. Um I think that one of those two guys needs to be the guy to defeat Logan. So, no, I I do not think Cody Rhodes is going to do it. Um, I also just don't think a title unification is what WWE needs right now. They've had that recently, um, you know, when when, or a couple years ago when they combined the Universal title and the World Heavyweight title, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and then they um, obviously had to bring back the World Heavyweight Championship that is now held by Damian Priest because of the fact that they need to split the titles up. So um, I don't think that having a title unification right now favors anybody. Even if Cody Rhodes does win the United States title, well, now he's going to have to get to a point sometime soon where he loses one of those belts, right? Probably going to be the U.S. title. And now we're just hurting Cody Rhodes because now he's losing to some other guy who's going to take the U.S. title off him. So I don't think we need that. I don't think Cody Rhodes needs that title right now. I think Logan Paul is doing a great job with it. I think that... Having Logan Paul, the U.S. title, um, go to battle against the WWE champion is good for the U.S. title. Um, I think it puts it in a highly new bracket, which is awesome. And we're making the U.S. title feel prestigious, that it's going toe-to-toe with the WWE title. I think the match should be close, but I think there's going to be a shenanigan involved. Um, But I like that. We're elevating the U.S. belts, um, and we're elevating Logan Paul at the same time. And again, he's incredible. So I think that him and Cody Rhodes are going to have a great match. Something's going to have to go down with that. I don't know what that is. Um, we'll see. But I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with it. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what that match entails. Um, if I was booking it, if I'm Triple H, right, and, I, and I'm booking how I want this, this match to end, right, um, with shenanigans, I think this it, this shouldn't be a thing where... Um, the next U.S. title challenger interrupts 
against Logan Paul. I think this is a good opportunity to start setting up Cody Rhodes' SummerSlam opponent, right? And maybe what you can do is this is when Roman Reigns can maybe make his return. Or maybe this is when The Rock can make his return. Um, or if The Rock can't do it and Reigns isn't coming back now, right? You can have Gunther, right? Gunther win King of the Ring. Or, yeah, if Gunther wins King of the Ring, maybe he can come out there and solidify himself as Cody's opponent for SummerSlam. And I think that would be a great match. So you have options of where you can go. But uh, if I was booking it, I would have it be whoever Cody Rhodes' next guy is. Um, and I would go one of three directions for SummerSlam. I would go, if you can't do Rock or Roman, and I don't even think we should do Roman again. Um, I don't think that's a good idea at all. He's obviously going to have his own stuff on SmackDown with the bloodline. Um, if it's not going to be The Rock, which it's not, because that's going to be a WrestleMania match, I think Gunther should be the guy to kind of get involved. He's been eliminated by Cody twice in the Royal Rumble. He's got legit beef with Cody with that, right? And now we can do that actual match. Um, and I think that would be perfect. But it looks like they might be setting up uh, Gunther versus Ilya Dragunov now. So we'll have to see what they're going to do. Um, but again, I think, I think they're going to cook and it's going to be a great match.